Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Lynn and I am going to be doing a whole house ultimate deep clean. You are going to see my house in such disarray, but by the end of this video, it is going to be spotless and I am going to show you how to get every little crevice clean. If you like videos like this with a whole house cleaning, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join my little YouTube family. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away
I'm going to start cleaning out the air purifier. We run this all day and I honestly like the humming at nighttime. But because we were so sick, I want to make sure I get this just in case. We actually had the stomach virus and I got it worse than anyone else in the house and I was not messing around. If there's any illness that gives me sheer anxiety, it's the stomach virus. So I am going to make sure I get every inch of this house cleaned. Because we were so sick and I do not want to get it again, I'm going to make sure to use my gloves because I am going to use my hospital grade wipes to wipe everything down in this bathroom even though I've already sprayed it with antibacterial spray. This was a bad one you guys. I'm also going to spray the countertops as well with the antibacterial spray. Now that I have all of the mirrors and countertops cleaned off, I'm going to give this bathroom a real quick vacuuming with my Dyson and then I'm going to steam clean everything. Before I steam clean, I'm also going to wipe the baseboards down with the antibacterial spray just to make sure I got everything. You guys, I am not messing around. I gotta get this virus out of this house. Now it is time to get it really, really clean. I am using my Shark Steamer. I actually think we got this from Bed Bath & Beyond for really cheap. It was on sale and I love this thing. I would highly recommend it. You will be able to see that I can take the attachment off the bottom and just spray everything. So definitely look into this.
So I'm going to slow everything down and show you normal speed of how I am steaming everything because I'm going to make sure the steam sits on here long enough to kill anything that's here. So this is how slow I am going, but I'm going to speed it back up for you. I'm gonna do the light switches, I'm gonna do the trim, all of the handles in the bathroom as well as the faucets, even though I've already sprayed them, I just wanna be extra, extra cautious. So this is what I'm doing now, and that's why I love this thing so much because I can take the attachment off and do all of these types of things. It's especially nice when you wanna get into those really nasty crevices on the toilet. And even in the garbage disposal, it's really nice. I want to remind you guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And also remember, feel free to share this video with any of your family or friends or anyone that you think would enjoy it. I would appreciate it so much, you guys. I'm going to start spraying down my shower as well as my tub and then I'm going to scrub it so so well. It is all done in here. Everything is steam cleaned, disinfected, and it feels honestly so much better. And I feel so much better knowing that everything has been touched and scrubbed and cleaned. I think this bathroom is officially good. I also steam cleaned my bedroom real quick as well. Now time to start doing the same for the boys bathroom. I'm gonna spray everything in here as well with the antibacterial spray, the same method that I did in my bathroom.
it works perfectly for my sink and my glass top stove. And here is my little Noah playing with my gloves. If it keeps him happy, I don't mind. I'm going to start steaming the other parts of the house, first starting in the bathroom. I have to say that sometimes all you need is a scrubber and some soap and water and it is perfect and that is what I'm doing here. I don't really have any good cleaner for this marble. This is real marble. So I'm just going to start using soap and water. I'm taking the bathroom trash can now and disinfecting that as well. I did this in my other bathroom. I just used the steam cleaner, but now this one, this particular one, I'm actually washing out in the sink. Time to start on the boys' room. I'm going to put away their toys. I'm gonna to spray everything down, and I'm also gonna put clean bedding and wash all their sheets and blankets. Since they were in here while they were sick, I want to make sure I disinfect everything. This is a little trick I will do. If I have a lot of little pieces, I will just put my shirt here and kind of use it as like a kangaroo pouch. Sounds crazy, but it works. I am really big on hiding their toys, so I like to use these rolling bins and try to shove as much as I possibly can to fit and go under their bed so I don't have to see it. I'm gonna start making a little spot in here for them to be able to play because they are waking up so early in the morning that I need them to stay in the room. So I'm gonna make a little area for them. You can see that this day has gone on and it has been a very long and detailed and tedious cleaning and you can tell by my hair. It is a true messy bun now. Is it just me, but do you guys absolutely love vacuum lines? I'm thinking about doing a video all with satisfying cleaning type stuff, and I know vacuum lines would definitely be in that. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. And also let me know, why do you watch cleaning videos? Is it for motivation? Do you like the music? What is it about them that you love so much? Let me know in the comments below.
I'm using my hospital grade wipes to wipe the bunk bed down. You guys can use Lysol wipes or just spray some antibacterial cleanser. I like these hospital grade wipes though because they kill a lot. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know how much I absolutely love making bunk beds. You can insert some sarcasm right there. I hate it. I'm going to spray the boys stuffed animals with this Lysol spray. I also did this to their toys in the front room and around the house and I did not get that on camera unfortunately, but I'm showing you this section here. I'm gonna start focusing on the laundry room now and the first thing I need to do is clean this litter box. So I'm going to put some dish soap in it and wash it outside. I'm going to use my same kangaroo pouch here and clean up this room. Time to put away all of the boys' Play-Doh since they are in bed now. I know this table will finally stay clean for just a couple of hours. Take it easy, take it slow. 